Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri, and today we're gonna to do vector element names here inside of R. So let's just type this out, vector element names. So I'll even put a note here, I think this is like episode 20. Anyways, we can actually name the elements inside of a vector. So today we are going to name the elements inside of a vector. But the question remains, right? So, but why is this useful? Like this seems really odd. Like why would you name elements in a vector? I know, I know, I don't use this a ton, but it has useful implications here. Um, so, you know, let's say we would like to call uh, data by name and find some sort of value here. So in our example, I wanna know uh, someone's age by using their name. And to do this, what we're gonna do is say, okay, age is going to be a vector here. And we're gonna say, okay, 14, I don't know, 28, 72, I don't know, 35, I don't know, 18, and I don't know, a cool 20 here. So let's just put that in there, run that, create age. Okay, and let's say we want to assign uh, names to these ages here. So let's just do this quickly here. We're gonna say, okay, names. And we're gonna say, okay, we're gonna pass in to this, this vector called age. And we're gonna create some sort of list here. So let's say, I don't know, let's say Tom. Make sure you put these in double quotes because they are text. Uh, let's say Sally. I don't know, let's say Sue. Let's say, I don't know, my buddy Lou. Let's say my buddy Johnny. Make sure we put these in double quotes. And finally, let's just put Tony in here. Let's run this real quick. And you'll notice here in the top right, right, we have values, we still have the vector age, but it added this little piece here called named. So we know that there are names assigned to it. And, you know, we can actually print uh, the names, you know, for the vector. And the way you do this is you're just going to say names, age, and run that. And it's gonna say, okay, Tom, Sally, Sue, Lou, Johnny and Tony. And, you know, why, how is this useful? So, you know, let's say, uh, what is Lou's age? So this is the question we're trying to ask here. And since I have a name assigned to this, I can say, you know, age, do square brackets, do the quotes, let's call Lou, hit enter, and it's gonna say, okay, Lou is 35. So that gives me the age that I can pull now from this vector by name. Uh, and you can also clear this, so you can also clear uh, the names. So if you screw up or something, you don't need to delete the whole vector and start over from scratch. Uh, you can just say names of age, and you can assign it, you know, null, of course, in all caps, which is a defined value inside of R here. And you can see up here in the top right, age no longer has uh, that named component to it. But also you can type in names do age, hit run, and it gives you null, meaning there are no names applied to this vector. And even if you take a brand new vector here and you just run it, uh, you'll also just say null because nothing was actually assigned to that. So null just lets you know there's nothing assigned to it for this function of names. So, you know, now as a final note, in reality here, uh, you would never hand type names out for any sort of vector because in reality you typically have lots of data. Um, but as you saw kind of up here in the code, the way I assigned this using C function to create or the combined function, uh, you can use this to actually create the names themselves into a vector. Uh, you know, in reality you wouldn't do this. In reality, uh, you would use a pre-existing vector of names or some other thing that you're gonna call it by. And you would pass that into the name, the names function here. So just to give you an example, I don't have this existing here, uh, but we would do like names of, I don't know, say age, and then we would pass to it something else. Let's say, I don't know, some vector called, I don't know, crazy names here, right? And this, so crazy names would be in the format we saw before. And crazy names would be a pre-existing vector of names that we would have. So 
in the real world, let's say you download a bunch of data from the internet, it's credit data, it's got a million people in it, uh, it's got all their names, so it's a million names, uh, it already has their ages, say in another column, you could use this and actually apply this by actually having this massive data set. So, you know, just as a note, uh, I don't have this data, right? This is just me hypothetically talking about how this would happen in the real world with a big data set. Anyways, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, until next time.